In this video, let's look at Embed Chain. Embed Chain is a framework to easily create large language powered bots over any dataset. It abstracts the entire process of loading a dataset, chunking it, creating embeddings, and then storing it in a vector database. You can add a single or multiple dataset using add, add local function, and then you can use a query function to find answer from the added data sets okay so here is some code for a demo uh, of this particular toolkit right or a python framework right uh, so this has been created by taranjit okay um, author is taranjit singh so what does it make use of it makes use of lang chain as a llm framework to load chunk and index data it makes use of open ai's ada embedding model to create embeddings it makes use of OpenAI's chat GPT API as LLM to get answers given the context. Chroma as the vector database to store embeddings. Okay. So let's go to a demo and then come back to the technicalities. Okay. So here what I've done is that in this collab notebook, I have installed the library embed chain, which in turn installs all the necessary libraries. Okay. Then what I do over here is that I set up my open AI API key because this makes use of open AI ADA embeddings, right? And it also makes use of chat GPT API. Okay. So I set the key over here. Then I need to create an app. Okay. So I call this as neural link chat bot. So in this video, I'll be making use of, uh, you know, a chat bot to understand more about neural link from Tesla. Okay, so then I add some resources over here. These are online resources. So I add, you know, a YouTube video. So this is the YouTube video about, you know, a neural link uh, event, right? This particular video, right? So I add that video. Then I have a white paper, which is a PDF file. So this is again a white paper on neural link. Okay, so I add that particular white paper, right? Then I also add a web, uh, you know, web page neural link over here so this is the web page wikipedia page over here uh, this is the, sorry this is the white uh, paper so yeah the wikipedia page actually i add over here right then what happens is that uh, this gets chunked indexed you know that's what happens over here chunks are created embeddings are generated chunks are created and stored in a vector database then i ask a query over here like this you know i ask a query like neural link chatbot dot query what is neural link okay then it says neural link is an american brain computer interface company founded by elon musk it specializes in neuroprosthetics and headquartered in fremont california privately owned by elon musk and has approximately 300 employees as of 2022 okay so the next question i ask is uh, you know what are the use cases for neural link device right let's see what is the response Okay, the use cases for neural link device mentioned in the given context includes brain machine interfaces for controlling digital devices such as mouse keyboard as well as potential applications in patient with spinal cord injuries. Okay, then I ask another question on has neural link device been tested on humans, right? Yes, according to the given context, neural link obtained a breakthrough device which allows limited human testing. But I'm not sure if it's yet been tested on humans. So in this way, when you have multiple resources, which could be local or which could be online, you can add these resources, including a YouTube video, a PDF file or a web page over here. Right. And you can create a chat bot to chat with this particular content. OK, so this is a very nifty library. I really liked how, um, you know, this library abstracts things like, you know, creating an embedding for a query, finding similar documents for this query from vector database, and then passing similar do documents as context to the LLM to get the final answer. So it abstracts all these things. OK, so how does this work? Uh, so creating a chatbot over any data set needs the following things to happen. You load the data, you create meaningful chunks, create embeddings for each chunks, store the chunks in a vector database. Now, when a user asks a query, you need to follow the following process happens to find the answer for the query, you know, creating the embedding for the query, finding similar documents for this query from vector database, 
pass similar uh, documents as context to the LLM to get the final answer, right? So there are a lot of questions over here like, you know, how should I chunk the data? What is meaningful chunk size? How should I create embeddings for each chunk? Which embedding model should I use? How should I store the chunks in vector database? Which de vector database? Should I store metadata along with embeddings? How should I find similar documents for a query? Which ranking model should I use? So these are a lot of, um, you know, questions which requires research and experimentation to find out the accurate answers. So embed chain is a framework which takes care of all these nuances and provides a simple interface to create bots over any data set. In the future, it would be nice if options are provided for, you know, which embedding model to use. Currently, it's using ADA embedding model. What if I want to use sentence transformers to get the embeddings, right? Similarly, which vector database? What if I want to use Pinecone or some other database? So this library could expand by giving you more options at each stage. What if instead of chat GPT's API, I wanted to use say uh, MPT 30 billion, right? So such options would be nice to have, but currently this is a nice uh, framework, which kind of abstracts for a layman. Many of these things, you just have to provide a source sources and then you can have a chatbot up and running. So this is a very interesting library. Go and check it out. I'll be putting the link to this particular um, library in the description of the video. You can check it out. Maybe you can give a start to this library if you find it useful. I'll be putting a link to this uh, collab notebook as well. Right. You can check that out as well. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.